Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. We focus on make you understand the concepts of engineering very clearly, right? So for more lectures on engineering concepts, you can log into our website www.claryconcepts.com. Today we are going to talk about pressure measurements and that too with one of the very simple device called piezometer. So firstly, why is pressure measurement very, very important? You look at the industry, any process industry or power industry, they are equipped with lot of piping networks and each of this pipe carries some sort of fluids. And if you want to measure the performance of any sort of process industry or power industry, measuring pressure at different, different points is really important to make sure that all of your devices, engineering devices works, operates in an optimum performance, right? So measuring the pressure of a fluid flowing through different pipes is very, very essential in the industries. So there are many devices available to measure the pressure of uh, a fluid flowing through the pipes. So one of them is piezometer. Then we have U-tube manometer, single column manometer, burden to pressure gauges. So there are many devices to measure the pressure. But today in this lecture, we are going to understand how we can measure pressure using a very, very simple device called a piezometer. So we will see what is piezometer and how does it measures the pressure. Okay. So piezometer is simply nothing but a glass tube or any tube in a band shape which has two open ends. One of the end that you see over here is connected to the pipe where fluid pressure is to be measured and the other end of the tube is kept open to atmosphere. So let us say I have this main pipe where fluid is flowing. Uh, the fluid has density of rho kg per meter cube and here is a section where I want to measure the pressure of this flowing fluid. Okay. What I will do? I will simply drill one hole and I will insert this piezometer tube into this particular pipe. Now when you insert this what will happen is the fluid from the main pipe will start flowing out in this piezometer tube and will climb a particular height. Now intuitively you say me what now let's say if pressure within the fluid is very very high then the height climbed by the by the fluid in the piezometer will also be high if pressure in the fluid will be lower then the height will be lower so there is some connection between pressure and the fluid height in the piezometer tube it is directly proportional so let us understand that how you can measure the pressure within the pipe using the value of this height h so now when you look at this particular arrangement from the side view, you will see that a circular cross section of the tube, I mean of the pipe and then a piezometer tube. So I'll see, I'll show you the arrangement. Yeah, this is the arrangement. So here you have the fluid column uh, filled with H meters in a piezometer tube. And then you have this circle, this is a circular pipe section, main pipe. So it is perpendicular to the board like this, right? And it is a section where piezometer tube is mounted. Now, let us suppose point A is the center of the pipe. And here you are supposed to find the pressure, pressure at point A of the fluid flowing through a pipe. And let us, let me mark another point, point B at the corner and point C at the uh, free surface of the fluid at, in the piezometer tube. Now let me just go and find out pressure. So pressure at point A and B if I connect, can you, can I say that pressure at point A and B will be equal? You look at this, why? Because A and B lies on a common horizontal plane. And also, they can be connected by a continuous line being in the same constant density fluid. So I can say pressure at point A and B are equal. Now, if you have not viewed my previous lecture where I talk about the pressure variation in the hydrostatic, I mean, in a static fluid, I request you to go to that particular lecture and then come back because this is a concept where I, which I taught in the previous class. So here I can easily say that since A and B are lying on the same horizontal plane and both of them can be connected by a continuous line being in the same fluid therefore A and B have same pressure. So now if I measure pressure at point B I can say the pressure at point A is also similar to pressure at point B. Now what can I say about uh, pressure at B and C because they are on a different vertical line and we can use hydrostatic law between point B and C and I can say that pressure at lower altitude point equals to pressure at higher altitude point plus rho G. H, where you can say that pressure at B is at lower point, pressure at C is higher point and then rho G H. Now what is rho G H? Where rho is density of the fluid and between filled between B and C. But which fluid is filled? The fluid which is flowing through the pipe. 
So here density will be the density of the fluid flowing through a pipe which is rho. Then G is what? G is gravitational acceleration 9.81 meter per second square. And H is what? H is this particular height between B and C uh, uh, up till which the fluid has risen, right? Now, I will say that pressure at point C is atmospheric because it is open to atmosphere. Uh, so, the formula will be Pb equals to P atmospheric plus rho gh. So, we will be aware about what is the value of atmosphere pressure. Rho will be known to us because whatever fluid is flowing through the pipe, I know which what is the density of that fluid. G I know the value and H I can easily measure using a linear scale. So, just by measuring the value of H using linear scale, you can find out pressure at point B. And since you know pressure at point B, you can also say that because both of them are equal, pressure at point A is also the same value. Clear? So, that for now I hope you understood that using the H, how can you measure pressure at point A which is P atmospheric plus rho G H. Now, let me take you to the one of the interesting fact. Let me take an example where water is flowing through the pipe. So, density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube and then the water level rise is up to a height of 0.1 meters for example. Now, if I ask you to measure the value of pressure at point A. So, you will use the same equation pressure at point A equals to P atm plus rho gh. So, you can say rho is 1000, g is 9.81 and then h is 0.1 meter. So, you put the values, you will get P A equals to P A T M plus uh, 981. Now question is what is the value of atmospheric? So now there are two ways in which you can put the values. Many times people use 0 Pascal, many times people use the exact atmospheric values from absolute 0 line. So you can have two options, let us say first is 0 Pascal which is a gauge pressure of atmosphere and then there is another value called 10135 Pascal which is absolute value. And I have explained you in one of the lecture where I taught you about fluid pressure and difference between absolute pressure, gauge pressure and vacuum pressure. So if you are not aware about this lecture, kindly go back and look at the lecture and come back to this lecture, right. So these are the two ways in which a pressure can be represented. One is gauge, one is absolute, right. Now if you substitute the value of P atmospheric as 0 Pascal in this equation, you will get P A that is pressure at point A in gauge. And if you put this pressure in absolute terms, that is 101325, the value that you will get for P A will be absolute pressure. So let us put 0 first, so I will get 981 Pascal which is gauge. And if you put this 101325 plus 981, so this is the final answer in terms of absolute. You are getting my point? Both of them represent the same pressure, but values are different because the reference from where the pressure is measured is different. So for this, for gauge pressure, the reference is taken as atmospheric. And for absolute pressure, the reference is taken as absolute zero, that is pure vacuum, right. So I hope you understood this, uh, how to measure the pressure using the piezometer. But this is not the case where you can use piezometer always. There are some limitations of using piezometer. Let me also mention that in this lecture. So let us see if I have a gaseous fluid flowing in a pipe. Do you think I can measure, piezo I can use piezometer to measure the pressure? Let us see what will happen if you do that. So let me have a section where I need to measure the pressure, I will put the piezometer tube and what you can see is gas will start flowing out. You will never see a particular sub, uh, the liquid or any surface where the you cannot measure the height even, right. So piezometers cannot be used to measure the pressure of the gaseous fluids flowing through a pipe. This is one of the limitation of this. So piezometer cannot be used to measure the pressure of the gaseous fluid. Now let us take another limitation. So say for example, you have a fluid flowing through a pipe and the pressure in this line uh, is below atmospheric. So the pressure of the fluid flowing through the pipe is less than atmospheric pressure. Now if you use the piezometer to measure the pressure, what will happen? You insert the piezometer. So instead of fluid coming out, the atmospheric air will start penetrating it. Why? Because pressure at this section is lower than atmospheric. So atmospheric air will start flowing in. So that means you cannot use piezometer to measure the pressure which is less than atmospheric or lower than atmospheric pressure. Clear? Third, let us suppose you have a pipe and the pressure of the fluid in the pipe is very, very large. Now, when pressure is very large and if you use piezometer, you need to have the tube of very, very larger length and it is not advisable. So, therefore, piezometers are not advisable to use for measuring the pressure, very, very high pressure uh, in, a, in a pipe, right? So, I hope you have got the clarity on how 
piezometers are used to measure the fluid pressure in a pipe and what are the limitations of piezometer uh, when you are using it for measuring the pressure in a fluid pipe thank you so much see you in the next class for more such conceptual video you can log into our website clariconcepts.com thank you see you again